these communities, including Brahabebomi, Kontomre, Ogadugu, Apoyem, and Brosanko, prior to the cocoa rehabilitation program, continuously recorded a decline in cocoa production due to the outbreak of the cocoa swollen short virus disease and overaged cocoa trees. But the intervention brought a semblance of life and hope to the cocoa farmers. However, attempts to destroy these cocoa farms to pave way for mining of gold has created tension among the farmers in the affected communities. <laughs> The miners gave me cash in exchange for my cocoa, which I did not We need your help. The miners claim they have acquired permission from the government. They will then negotiate a price for your cocoa farm behind closed doors. This poses a great challenge to our children in the country. Presently, the company is prospecting for gold on 169 hectares of cocoa farm, majority of which is under rehabilitation by cocoa board. But the regulator disclosed its checks show about 4,300 hectares of cocoa farms have been targeted by the mining company. According to Cocoa Board, the farms have been destroyed without authorization as required by law. Professor Michael Quartin is the head of anti-illegal mining unit at Cocoa Board. Cocoa Board, now we are now using the Economic Plan Protection Act. Uh, that is what we are using to protect the cocoa. So the law says nobody has the right to destroy any cocoa farm or cocoa tree without seeking proper permission from Cocoa Board through the minister. Per the figures I'm, I'm having now, um, about 4,000, almost 4,500 hectares are going to be affected. And that is why we need to, you know, expedite action to ensure that, you know, they stop whatever prospecting activities that is going on. The mining firm, Job Mines Limited, has however refuted claims of illegality. Public relations manager, Richard J.C. insists the company has met all the necessary requirements to undertake prospecting. We are working under the, the, the confines of the law and the Minerals Commission has given us the, this thing to do the exploration. And the exploration, it has stipulated that when you destroy one or two crops, you have to pay the farmer. And this is exactly what we are doing. So we are not destroying the crops as it, it has been portrayed. No, nothing at all. Cocoa production in the country has been on decline since 2021, dropping from 1 million metric tons to 480,000 metric tons in the 2023-2024 season. In 2022, Ghana defaulted with its cocoa supply contract with foreign buyers for the first time in the history of the country. This meant Ghana could not produce enough cocoa to honor contract it had already received payment for. And with the continuous decline of cocoa production in the country, farmers here want government to intervene to prevent the further destructions of their cocoa farm. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Achuma Unwebeja South, Ashanti Region.